This video will demonstrate the steps necessary to gain vascular access through the intravenous route and provide a bolus medication once vascular access has been established. We will provide a general overview of the skill. For specifics regarding catheter size and fluid type, refer to your protocols, training officer, or medical director. Begin by taking appropriate body substance isolation. Clearly explain the procedure to the patient. Gather all equipment necessary to perform the procedure. IV solution, administration set, intravenous catheter, Sharps container, venous tourniquet, occlusive dressing, antiseptic swab, and 4x4s. Inspect the IV solution to ensure the following. Proper fluid, clarity, expiration date, intact covers on tailport. Inspect administration set to ensure the following. Proper drip rating, tubing is not tangled, protective covers are on both ends. Move flow clamp up close to drip chamber and ensure it is closed. Remove protective cover from IV solution and administration set spike. Be sure to maintain sterility of ends while removing covers. Insert administration set spike into IV solution tail port with a twisting and pushing motion until inner seal is punctured. Turn IV bag upright. Squeeze and fill drip chamber to halfway mark. Open flow clamp and bleed administration set line. Shut flow off after all bubbles have been purged. Tear sufficient tape. Identify appropriate site for intravenous access. Apply tourniquet properly. Palpate suitable vein. Cleanse site, starting from the middle and working in ever widening circles. Remove IV catheter from package while maintaining sterility. Remove cover, inspect for burrs, and loosen catheter by twisting hub. Stabilize vein and extremity by grasping and stretching skin. Ensure not to touch cleaned area. Warn patient of stick. Insert IV catheter bevel up at a 35 to 45 degree angle. Advance IV catheter until it is felt that the IV has entered the vein and blood is noted in the flash chamber. Lower the angle of the IV catheter and advance approximately 1 8 of an inch further. Stabilize IV catheter and slide catheter off of stylet by grasping the hub and advancing until hub touches skin. Occlude proximal vein at distal tip of catheter. Remove stylet and dispose in sharps box. Remove protective cover from distal end of administration set and attach to hub of catheter while maintaining sterility. Release occlusion and release tourniquet. Open flow clamp and runs for a brief period to assure a patent line. Secure IV tubing to patient. Adjust flow rate to appropriate setting. Assess for signs of infiltration and irritation. Finish securing IV and IV tubing. Assess patient for therapeutic response or signs of untoward reactions. For the second part of this video, we will demonstrate the steps to administer a bolus medication. Maintain body substance isolation. Clearly explain the procedure to the patient. Select appropriate equipment to include appropriate medication, alcohol prep, Sharps container. Confirm medication order. 
Ask patient for known allergies. Ensure the rights of medication administration to include right patient, right medication, right dose, right time, right route, right expiration date. Assemble pre-filled syringe and dispel air. Alternatively draw appropriate amount of medication. Identify and cleanse proximal injection site with alcohol prep. Reconfirm medication. Stop IV flow. Attach medication syringe to proximal injection site. Administer correct dose at proper push rate. Remove medication syringe and dispose in sharps container. Resume IV flow and adjust to appropriate rate. Observe patient for desired or adverse effects.